Hi guys, I'm back with a May favorite. I've been trying to film this, but with kids, and then I just had a barking dog where I couldn't even hear myself think. So, I'm gonna try and get through this without any interruptions, but that's life. Um, the first thing I want to show you guys are some Neutrogena products that I've really, really been liking. I'm sure you have probably seen them on YouTube already. In fact, I know you've seen the one. It's a Neutrogena Healthy Skin, which has been compared to NARS Sheer Glow. Um, I'm not going to compare or do a review on it because there's been so many out there. Um, I don't have NARS Sheer Glow to let you guys know the comparisons, but I really love this. I got it in Classic Ivory, number 10. It's great coverage. Um, it's lightweight, not greasy. It's SPF 20, which is another bonus. So I've really been liking that. Um, the next thing, I just got this about a week and a half ago, and if you don't have it, I highly recommend it. It's a tinted moisturizer. It's healthy, Neutrogena Healthy Skin Enhancer. And as you can see right here, it's 3-in-1. It's a retinol treatment, an SPF 20 moisturizer, and then a sheer tint. I got this in, they didn't have my regular color, um, but I got it in like a Ivory Defer number 10. I think it is, yeah, that's what it is. And it's a little darker than what I wear, but not, I don't know if you can tell right there. Compared to this one, it's darker than what I normally wear. But that's okay, because I think it'll be great for a summer little glow tint. I really like it. It's what I have on today. I just have this on, and that's it. So I've really been liking that. Um, let's see. The next thing I've been liking is the Revlon Glow Luscious Eye or Mascara. I'm going to do a review on it, but I've only had it about a week or two, so I kind of just want to make sure before I say, oh, go buy it. It's fabulous. Um, yeah. The only thing I don't like, it's got a pretty big brush on it. And I kind of think it's too big, but it goes on really good. And see, <laughs> I just messed up there, but um, yeah, I think it goes on really well. It's not clumpy. Um, I guess I could have done like a first impressions video, but I know there's so many out there I don't want to copycat. But I am going to do a review on it, so I guess stay tuned for that if you want to see a review. I'm really liking it. And the next thing I'm really liking for as a face product, and this is just a little sample that I got from Murat, Mir, Murad, is the Oil Control Mattifier and SPF 15. I've really been liking it. It's got a lightweight consistency. You're supposed to use it every day after cleansing and applying a treatment, and then you just massage into your face evenly and stuff. Um, I forgot that I had it, so I've been using it for the last two, three weeks, and it really works. Um, I have acne and oily skin, so this, for me, is a great product. So I go check it out. I'll put their website down below. Um, another thing I've been liking is the Milani 3D Glitzy Lip Gloss. And I picked this up a couple weeks ago. I think I did a haul on it. And as you see, I put it over here, but now all you get sparkles, so I'll do it again. But it's just really light pink, but really glittery. I think it would be great over a lot of um, lipsticks and stuff. This is in designer label 43. My camera's not going to focus. Let's try it that way. Yeah, still not gonna focus, but it's a really good lip gloss. Um, CVS Pharmacy is where I got it. And then the last one I really like is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Expressions Eyeshadow Palette. I showed it in a haul, and I've really been liking it. Um, I think this little mirror comes in really handy because you can just turn it like, let's see, you can just turn it up like this and then do it, you know, on the car and everything. Um, what I like is the sides, I will turn it this way, 
because I like these colors here. Well, I like all the colors, but I like these colors here too. And I really like them for the daytime and then use these for the nighttime. They're really pigmented. Um, not a whole lot of product fallout as far as, you know, I think. Um, and they didn't crease. So I thought that this one is number 397, Paradise Grove. I don't remember how much it was. Again, it was 50% off of CVS Pharmacy. So it was a really good buy. And so yeah, those are my six products for May. The two products that I really regret buying, which I know there are a lot of people out there on YouTube that have regretted buying them, are the Shadow Blast CoverGirl. I have the purple one. I guess it's purple. I don't know. It's like a gray. It doesn't say what colors it is. Smoky Shadow Blast. So, yeah, it doesn't say, but this is the gray and purple one. And then I got the black and the white one. These creased terribly. I mean, it is awful of how bad they crease. I know X Barkage, if you want to check out her video, she did a first impression on these. And you can see for yourself exactly what they do. So I would not waste your money or your time getting these. They, in my opinion, they suck. So yeah, don't waste your money on these. I regret buying them. I'm trying to figure out if I even want to give them to somebody or just toss them. I only used them once and they go on, I'll even do a swatch. They go on really creamy. But you can even see, like there's the black one. And look at that. You try and blend it and it comes right off. So I don't get that. So there's that one. And then you got this pearl white one. And it's right there. And again, you try and blend it. Of course, you probably don't need to blend that one. And it just comes right off. And then we've got this one. Which, here's the purple. I'll show you how it goes on, too. You can't even see it. But again, you try and blend it. And it just comes right off. And I'm barely touching it. So I really didn't like them. Um, again, this is the other end. The more rounded end. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. But I didn't like them. I'm right there. But, yeah, I tried, I used it with a primer on the lid, and then I put these on. And then what I did was I just used these with a primer, and that didn't work. They creased terribly bad. So then I went and used a primer, and then did what a couple people have done, and just used them as bases and put eyeshadows on them, or on top of them, and tried the whole smoky eye look, blending and everything, and... Within just a couple hours, they creased really, really bad. So, don't spend your money on them. So, that's my regret, and that's my main favorite. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later.